everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a first impressions review of the Mochimaruzu Tamalike Virtual Pet. You'll be able to see the unboxing uh, on a previous video that I have uploaded. It's kind of a silent unboxing, just first taking it out of the box. But today I was thinking, let's go ahead and see its initial features. It's just been a day old, so I'll be able to show you what I've been able to do and figure out. And maybe in the future, when I have more progress on it, we can check it out again. So let's... All right, so this is our Mochimuruzu. It's already working. So if I press its nose, you're able to see it here, living, happy and healthy. Uh, so this is the new version, the fluffy version. Here it is calling my name. Uh, this new version just came out in the fall of 2020. And I was really wondering which one to get. I literally like all of them, but I thought that having a new fluffy version is quite interesting. So let's first go through the body and then through the functionality. All right. So it has the standard face and squishy cheeks and nose, just like the previous versions of the hamsters. The little tiny feet are actually plastic just for decoration, but extremely cute. And I don't have the other earlier versions, but I've seen some reviews on them. And I think this one is different for one reason, which is these ears that you get to close and it's an entire functionality as you can see it turns into a ball and then when you open the ears it's kind of unhappy for the moment and you have to play with it to make it happy again and open up but it's actually a feature that you can use within the games because of this i believe because of this new functionality you're not able to take out the actual game outside of its case I saw in other reviews that for the hamsters and the cat, you're able to take the protective casing, like the cute squishy casing, because I know a lot of people are worried that the mochi actual mm, squishies are going to get ruined with time. I still do not know, but they seem quite sturdy to me. Like if you had a regular squishy, this is even harder than that. Something that's interesting and I do not know if there are just regular differences in production is that, for example, this cheek is way harder to press than this cheek. This one is so much easier, as you can see. Well, this one is actually a bit of an effort. And the nose is somewhere in between, I would say. All right, so let's begin with the actual initial first impressions review and conclusions I've gotten to. So let's say if it's closed up like this, or you see that it's unhappy for some reason, just press its cheek. See, it's like calling my name. And as you can see, now it just got expanded and it's not a ball anymore, but it's not particularly happy. So just keep squishing the cheeks. It feels like it's playing or something. And now, as you can see, the cheeks are growing and growing and it's now happy. Something that I'm used to from having Tamagotchis in the past is that I'm used to having the buttons go from left to right, like the ABCs, but here they're actually going from right to left. So this is your A button, your selection, well, actually going through different options. Uh, B in the middle of the nose is actually your confirmation. And C is that one, which is escape, exit, cancel, things like that. So when you press on its nose, the top and bottom menus appear. So in the first option, you're of course able to see some details like the time. You're able to go through its state. I called it Aggie, as you can see its name. Uh, I'm totally getting basic uh, Japanese language vibes. I just started learning it so I can read a bit, but uh, I don't think Agi means anything in particular. I just like how it sounded. I wasn't looking for it to mean anything. And here, like you have different recipes. I believe these are for different destinations and these are ingredients that you can use in different recipes. So far, I don't have much. By this feature itself, 
I would say it looks a lot like Animal Crossing um, New Horizons where you have a lot of recipes and things you can do. This is of course the food. Now I don't know if I have a lot of anything but I've bought, purchased and tried quite a few items. But I think I don't have anything to eat right now. So even better, you'll be able to see how I purchase it. Now, this one is the making actually of the recipes. You're able to make food, different potions and furniture, um, like paintings or decorations to hang on the wall and things like that. Something that's interesting is when you go to make food, even if you don't have uh, all the ingredients, Okay, I don't have the ingredients right now, <laughs> like any of them. I guess I need to buy something, but there is something interesting which I'll show you later. Now, as you can see, it got dust, like lint on its head. So let's have it take a bath. We're just supposed to press the two buttons. I think sometimes you can get away with just pressing one of them. And I very often press this one because it's softer. Uh, you can also clean if there's poop, but there's no poop right now. So when you go to the potion button at the bottom, you see there are a lot of different environments, a lot of different destinations. But currently I only have the middle one that's by default. So in order to go there, you drink this potion, like a travel train potion. And it starts doing some stuff. We're just waiting and enjoying the funny animation of it stretching and flipping. And it's going with a train. Now that I think about it, maybe I should have showed you how to turn the volume up first. I'll show you in a bit after we're done with this destination, but I've been keeping it kind of on silent. So here you have, I believe, seven different spots where you can gain ingredients from. So right now I got the leaf. This is the most common one. Then we go to the right, keep on going to the path. Select middle button. And we're checking if there's something on the tree and there's another leaf. So yeah, they're the most common ones. Um, but from here you're able to get a lot that you'll be able to use in your re recipe. So here you get a hint that you should close the ears and it turns into a bowl and it falls down into the hole for different kinds of ingredients which are stones so this is something like a mine right so it's mining right now but it wasn't able to find anything that's the thing it doesn't always find like ingredients uh, in each spot here we got just one rock which is all right we go next to the ladder and again we expand the ears and it's climbing up the ladder next destination is over here we select and we got something like peach fruit which totally looks like a butt i know it's supposed to look like its face in pink but come on it looks like a butt so we're moving across the map here we have a possibility for another one oh and we got a friend sometimes you get to meet the other characters that are available in this case this was the limited edition momo mochi maruzu i think momo was peach that's why it's a limited peach edition now we got another fruit And the last place we can get something is the river. And we got another leaf. Again, sometimes you don't get anything and it's attempting to fall in the river or something like that. So now it's happy and we are back, but it is hungry. So we better go purchase something. But first I'm gonna jump straight to the settings because I wanna show you something. This is the volume. I would say the lowest option is actually quite loud, quite loud. Um, so I'm just going to keep it at the lowest just so you can hear. We have, of course, option about the brightness. Yes, confirm. 
So at the beginning, when you're setting it up, of course, you're going to have options to set up date and time, but you don't have to worry about it at the initial screen because you're able to do it later on. Just like the time, the name, this is my birthday. So Iberina, <laughs> like my Japanese version of my name. No Otanjiobi wa, asking for my birthday. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And we can change uh, the character's name as well, but I don't think I'll be doing that. So let's go to the store, like I promised you, because we want to feed it first, and then I'll show you the games. All right, so I'm gonna purchase. I'm gonna purchase something specific because I want to show you a recipe. So I will buy the honey and I will buy this, which kind of looks like banana split, something like that. So here you can also purchase other things like interiors for your rooms. The one that you were able to see in my background, I have purchased. There was a default one and here, in case you're really missing some valuable ingredient, you're able to actually purchase it. Like these flowers, they're really hard to get and they're needed for a lot of recipes, but quite expensive. So you have to be playing all the time. All right, so what I wanted to show you here with building recipes is you can see on this screen initially, while it's starting up, it's showing you different options. So even from the initial screen, you're able to see suggestions of recipes. This one that I'm going to show to you now, I saw previously, which is why I bought these two ingredients. And now we're pushing, as you can see, it took out its tongue, which makes it look even more realistic. Realistic, sorry. And now we have this completely new meal that we made from the ingredients we had, which we're not able to purchase on its own. We have to make it. So let's now find what we've created, what we've cooked and eat it because it's hungry. As you can see, there are a lot of slots available and it's just my first day. So maybe there will be more. And now we press its tongue. And as you can see, this one has the bee. It has the honey on top of the banana. So definitely different. And we have a little bear character. All right, let's push its little cheeks again to make it happy. There we go. Now I want to show you the only game I have unlocked as of the moment, which is this one. There are a lot of others, but as you can see, they are agreed out, so they're not available. This is the only one that's available. So what do we do here? We're trying to catch all the good fruit and miss out on the bad black stuff, like hedgehog or something. So there are a total of 30. Oh, and here we close quickly the ears. So it's protected by this enemy. Then we open them again and keep on collecting fruit. Release. Make sure we don't catch. Close the ears again. It turns into a ball. But it's not able to touch us. This is kind of like a block, you know. A block feature. And I ate one by mistake. They were quite too close. So if you make a mistake like I did, you get just 200 coins. If you don't make any mistake, you get 500, which is great. And it's a fast way to gain coins so you can buy things. Now here at this house, this is actually the shop. So this is where we bought the things from that I showed to you. And last but not least, we have our own house. So here in the different rooms, in the first one that's already selected, we're able to see the friends that we've already met in this magical forest. And these are actually all the other characters that exist 
like this, like an actual physical Mochi Morozu game. But you also have them here. And I have quite a few of them. Okay. So down here in this notebook, I don't have anything yet, so I'm not sure what should be there. Maybe in the future, when you gain more progress, more recipes and things like that, you'll be able to see more things. Here as well, there is a table and I don't know what it does yet, but here is a setting and you're able to change your interior from that setting. So I can select this and see, my room looks like this now. And let's just check what was the last setting. Whoops. Skipped it. Last setting is our food. So this is, I guess, a collection of all the different foods we actually managed, managed to create through the recipes. And so far, this is it. So, so far, this is my very first impression of the Mochi Maruzu. It has an incredibly cute box as well. I've been trying to read some of the stuff on it. Uh, I got this from Japan You Want, and I'm actually really, really happy with the service. Uh, they have a lot of related items in case your hobby is small Japanese electronic games, virtual pets, some cutie Japanese items. I liked it because it comes with a really nice shipping from DHL and you know these days we've been getting everything through shipping so the effortless the better. But yeah this is it. I'm incredibly excited for it. Let me know if you have this one because I haven't really seen any videos on YouTube for the new fluffy version. I think it says it's a hamster. I think it looks more like a bunny, but whatever. The blue fluffy hamster bunny. I hope you did enjoy this review. Please let me know in case you got your own and if you figured out some new items and some new destinations. I think it has a lot of potential and I will definitely monitor the squishiness and the situation. But so far they look quite legit and quite sturdy. So. By normal use, I think they should be good. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see other videos of progress with this item, or maybe some other Tamagotchi related ones, feel free to subscribe. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.